Okay, we're starting today the topic of Havdalah. At the end of Shabbat, we'll do an introduction to it, and then we'll go through the simanim. And we'll start from Eish Tzadigimel, 293. First, <coughs> first introduction to the halachot of Havdalah. And where do we learn about Havdalah? Where did Havdalah come from? Why does it say in the Torah that we need to do Havdalah? It doesn't say in the Torah we need to do Havdalah. We remember, it doesn't say also in the Torah we need to do Kiddush. Right? It doesn't say in the Torah we need to do Kiddush. What does say in the Torah? Zachor et yom hashabbat lekadesh. Okay, remember the day of Shabbat to sanctify. How do we sanctify? So Chazal uh, learned that she wal hayayin. Do Kiddush on wine. Um, or it's actually, we do Kiddush. Do Kiddush. Say words that Shabbat is a special day. And according to most of him, when we have on Shabbat, and we say in the Tfilat Lachash, in the Amidah, we say, Atak Kiddush, if you're calling, close the window, we know. No, no, no. Let me close it. I'm fine. If you, if you want to. You guys want to open it? Leave it open close. Okay. So uh, um, when we say Atakidashta, Hashem sanctified Shabbat, and we say Vayichulu, that's enough for the Deoraita part, according to most of the opinions. We did see one opinion that Kiddush needs to be on wine, but according to most of Kim, Kiddush itself, uh, the saying the words of Kiddush, that's Deoraita, doing it on a cup of wine, this is Rabbinic. And so that's for the beginning of Shabbat. The Rambam has a very interesting uh, word in Kiddush. I want to read for you from a few sources in the Rambam. Um, just need to see how he sees Kiddush. <clears throat> so, Mitzvah Tasemi Torah, it's a Mitzvah for the Torah. Positive Mitzvah. Lekadesh et Yom HaShabbat Mitzvarim. Sanctify or say Shabbat is holy with words by saying words. Shneemar. זכור את יום השבת הקדשו, as we just mentioned. כלומר, זכרו זכירת שבח וקידוש. Remember Shabbat in a way maybe of praising it and that is it's a holiday. So that's how we do it, זכור את יום השבת הקדשו. Listen to the words here. צריך לזוכרו, we need to remember Shabbat, בכניסתו וביציאתו. How do we do קידוש on Shabbat at the beginning? of Shabbat and the end of Shabbat. Please, according to the Rambam, Havdalah is part of Kiddush. So we call it Havdalah, but it's actually part of Kiddush, the idea of sanctifying Shabbat, and the Rambam continues, Beknisato, Bekidush Hayom, Bekisiyato, Behavdalah. That's how we do Kiddush, according to the Rambam, Kiddush in the beginning, and Havdalah at the end. So according to the Rambam, Kiddush is part of Havdalah, oh, sorry, Havdalah, it's part of Kiddush, might have a big meaning. We'll get to it very soon. I want to read from another place in the Rambam. Um, <clears throat> in Sefer HaMitzvot, the Rambam has a book. Uh -huh. And we have it here. We have it here behind you. The book of Halacha. Yad HaChazaka, or Mishneh Torah. It has 14 uh, parts, 14 volumes. Plus, he has a book of all the Mitzvot, going from all of the Mitzvot of the Torah, the positive and the negative. So in Mitzvah Kuf Nun Hei, Mitzvah Ase Kuf Nun Hei, he says, Shetzivanu lekadesh et ha-shabbat velemor dvarim b'knisato uviziyato. So part of sanctifying Shabbat is saying words about Shabbat at the beginning of Shabbat, when Shabbat comes in, and when Shabbat comes out, what do we mention? Nazkir b'ay Mitziyat Mitzrayim v'kidush hayom u'ma'alato. So we mention out of Egypt, one of the reasons for Shabbat, as mentioned in the Sarah the Ten Commandments, is by Shabbat, we remember that Hashem took us out of Egypt, where we've been talking about Lechem Mishneh, where we've been talking about Shalosh Seudot, how is that connected to going out of Egypt? The man, eating the man, so it's the process of going out of Egypt, um, Hashem, um, and then a connection just a moment, separating Shabbat from all the days before Shabbat and the days after Shabbat. 
that also has a very symbolic connection to to Yitzhak Mitzrayim, which we actually see in our parasha, in this parasha, in, in Shmot, Vaera, Bo. What happened in the ten makot? Who got the the, the plagues? Who got the makot? All the Egyptians, besides the Jewish nation. So there's a very uh, distinguishes between between people. You can have a Jewish person who lives next to an, an Egyptian person, and they're different. They're separated. Shabbat comes to show that there's a separation in creation. Not everything is the same. So Shabbat is really much connected to coming out of Egypt and also creation creation of the world. Um, <clears throat> I didn't count it. Someone just told me this week, one of the most common words in all, all the story of creation is the word Vayavdil, Hashem separated. Um, I didn't count it, but it does appear many times. The idea that Hashem separates between the... <coughs> Can you second? Yeah. So what are you saying that the concept... Just an, of the... a tiny moment? So... so just, what were you quoted to yeah, so, so, so the, the uh, Rambam says that Havdalah is part of, part of Kiddush. You say because Kiddush is the right, uh, so, so Havdalah is the right. Yeah. And the idea of separation, very much appears. Let's read Sefer Mitzvot. He counts all of the Torah Mitzvot, Mitzvot from the Torah. Okay. All the Mitzvot from the Torah. Which is Sivanu. We have a commandment from the Torah. There are commandments. You can the Shabbat. Okay. Same words at the beginning and the end. So it must be Allah Hamidio Raita from the Torah. Because it's, it's included in among the 613. It's a part of the 613, right. Part of the, the, the mitzvah of Kiddush. So there's one mitzvah of Kiddush which has two parts of it. Three. The beginning of Shabbat and the end of Shabbat. <clears throat> Maybe you can say that according to the Rambam, the idea of Kiddush isn't just to sanctify Shabbat, it's to show its difference. It's, it's separated in the will, in the rest of the, of the days. How do we show it's being separated? You have the flag in the beginning and the flag in the end, right? Um, so never, that makes sense for the Rambam. One more halacha in the Rambam, which will go. Um, and we said that it's, it's maybe putting a flag, the Shabbat is, is here. It doesn't necessarily need to be in the exact moment of when Shabbat comes in. It's towards the beginning of Shabbat and towards the end of Shabbat. Let's see. Just think of Kiddush. When do we do Kiddush? When we come home. When we come home, right? Sure. So we do maybe an earlier Kiddush in Shul when we haven't married, right? But it's not always an exact second when Shabbat comes in. The early minyan, it will be before Shabbat comes in. If we now have a late and there's a long Shabbat, all right, it will be a bit after Shabbat comes in. So it's around the beginning of Shabbat, we'll have Kiddush. Right? When we come home, it's even later. We do another Kiddush and a cup of wine. That's, that's even later. It's not the exact moment of Shabbat. Yeah, people say, people accept upon themselves uh, the laws of Shabbat, but they aren't doing Kiddush. They aren't mentioning that Shabbat is the, the, the rest of the days. Okay, so it's accepting Shabbat, it's not Kiddush. Okay, if, if you want, I'll uh, read again the words of the Rambam. What is Kiddush? Um, we mentioned in Kiddush, Yitziat Mitzrayim, the Kiddush Hayom, that is holy and, and elevated from the rest of the days and separated from the rest of the days. When we say, Shabbat, and even when we say, and even when we say, Boi Kala, Boi Kala, Shabbat Marketa, we aren't showing that Shabbat is elevated. We're just saying, okay, now we became Shabbat. Okay, for, for example, on Sfirat HaOmer, we say today is day one, is day two. Today is Shabbat. When do we say Shabbat is different? That's, that's Kiddush. So one more halacha in the Rambam, and then we'll go to Shabbat. Yes. But we certainly can, uh, we can say Kiddush early, but you can't say Apala early. That's exactly what I was going to read in the Rambam. Okay. 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 Question. Are you allowed from to have a drink before you do uh, kiddush. So, so we don't we don't drink unless kiddush. unless it's the heat of the summer from Memphis and you have to have some water to walk home. Is that so? We, we mentioned that about okay. drinking before uh, and and for havdalah 
we are more mekel, we, are, we, we can drink before Abdallah. We can, according to many books here, we can even drink water for the kiddush of the day, of the day. But if for kiddush of the night, I would say that it has the aspect of the right in it, so we don't eat, drink. And are you allowed to, do you have to use wine for Abdallah? Or do you use something else? So we'll get to the many, oh, okay. many, I mean, not, we won't get to, to the day. Many can, many use beer or other things. Not, like. So that's uh, even since you asked, because I mean, I think of uh, some Chabad Nikim, some Chabad people that of the Havdalah on after Pesach, so we'll do Havdalah on beer mm-hmm. to show that beer they really wanted to drink beer. And the fact that they didn't drink for the seven days wasn't because they don't like beer, it was because Hashem said to us, Don't drink. And now Hashem said, You can drink. So I saw someone once Havdalah, I was new with this with vodka. Poured the vodka and, a, and he lit the vodka. He lit the vodka. He lit the vodka in the plate. Uh, is, uh, <laughs> I need to drink it too. Okay. Was, <clears throat> so we'll just read the Rambam and then we'll go into Shukhan. One more thought and then the Shukhan. Yeshlo la Adam. Just the general knowledge when the Rambam says Yeshlo la Adam means one, a person can. Doesn't mean you have to, a person can. So a person can. Do kiddush on a, on a on cup of wine before Shabbat, even before it's uh, Shabbat. Although Shabbat didn't come in still, everyone who davens in the early minyan does it. You do kiddush, or Shabbat came in after plaga mincha, after the time of plaga mincha. And here comes interesting. Mavdil al hakos mi beod yom af al pi sheadain hi Shabbat. So a person can do have the la on a cup of wine. Out fire, obviously, without lighting the candle. Towards the end of Shabbat, although it's still Shabbat, although it's still Shabbat, so if, if there's a big need, let's say um, there's a doctor, there's a doctor, he needs to go to hospital, uh, he, um, he, it's an, an emergency to go to hospital, he has now a minute to do after the hospital, he won't be able to do after the So if there's a driver waiting for him outside, it's now half an hour before the end of Shabbat. He knows he won't be able to do Havdalah. I mean, what does he do? He takes a cup of wine and does Havdalah on a cup of wine with a candle and does Havdalah on the wine while, while it's Shabbat. <clears throat> okay, so continues the Ram. It's that Zechira, the idea of remembering the difference between Shabbat, separating Shabbat and the rest of the days, Leomra, to say it, Ben Bishat Knisato Vitsiato, okay, whether it's in the beginning of Shabbat or the end of Shabbat, and also a bit beforehand, and also, you know, also a bit afterwards. Okay, so we can do Kiddush and Abdallah if needed to do Abdallah. Afterwards, we can do Abdallah. I mean, beforehand, we can do Abdallah also beforehand. Obviously, we can do Abdallah. Okay. So according to the Rambam, we saw, seems like Kiddush is, is uh, and Abdallah are basically the same idea of them. Uh, have made, they share many common halachot, between them, both of them are the writer. Um, <clears throat> and uh, um, it's the main idea of Kiddush and Havdalah is to remember Shabbat. That's the main idea, idea of Kiddush and Havdalah, to remember Shabbat. But we can guess that it's an argument. In the Magid Mishnah, one of the commentaries, Abbam says, many poskim hold that Havdalah is not the writer. It's the Rabbanan, it's rabbinical. Um, so, so Kiddush is the writer, but Havdalah isn't the writer. We could have many uh, meanings to this argument. Some of them, for example, can I drink water or Havdalah? If it's the writer, if Havdalah is the writer, maybe you should be uh, Machmir. You should. If it's rabbinical, maybe you could be more makel. So that's one, one, uh, another question. Are women obligated in Havdalah? A, are, there, are women obligated in Havdalah? And B, are women obligated in Havdalah the same as men? Yeah, the same as men. So that's a, that's a big question. Um, <clears throat> can a woman do Havdalah for a man? Can a, should a woman do Havdalah for herself? All of those questions will be taught to learn later. If I did Havdalah at Shul, and I was Yotze, I was the Chazan, I did Havdalah at Shul, I was Yotze, and only my wife is at home now. I come home. Should I do Havdalah for her? Or, or, or I can't do Havdalah for her. She should do Havdalah for herself. I, maybe I fulfilled my mitzvah already. 
and we have two different uh, kinds of obligations. My kind of obligation doesn't uh, um, can be mostly uh, her kind of obligation. That's a few questions that we'll see later about that come from the question: Is Havdala your right of the Rabbanan? Is it the same idea of Kiddush? Somebody told me once that I'm your shoe. Right. Hey, we, can we do a balance until Tuesday? Well, what does it mean to do a until Tuesday? Why? Okay, we, we'll, we'll get to it also. And does that time. mean you don't eat until Tuesday? <laughs> yeah. um, we'll, we'll get a bit, a bit of eating before Abdallah today, a bit, not, not much. That's the question we'll have the next. So, and then we, we will just learn for just about a few minutes in Siman Reish, it's an email 293. And the Siman talks about Mariv and Mosei Shabbat. Why is Mariv and Mosei Shabbat connected to Abdallah? The Chonan Tanu includes Havdalah in it. In the first Shukhan Aruch said we should try to daven Mariv a few minutes after Shabbat. Because the Tosefet Michol HaLakodesh, we want to extend Shabbat. Shabbat is such a holy day. We want to add to it a few more minutes. <clears throat> what time Shabbat comes out exactly? Uh, so when we when stars come out, three stars, big stars, small stars, and then today we don't see the stars, it's too much light pollution, and we just rely on the calendar, so we won't go into that. And one halacha in Reshtad Gimel, and then we move to Reshtad Dalet, is someone who, who is, I don't know, he has some, some kind of, he needs to do something. He needs to, to go out for, for Bar Mitzvah. And I can give an example. He's a doctor. He needs to leave early to the hospital. He's a soldier. Any other reason that could be, he can govern my river of Mosei Shabbat from Plag Hamincha while it's still Shabbat. He's governing my river of the next day. And do have Dala. And do have Dala, although it is still Shabbat. We saw it in the Rambam. Although it's still Shabbat, he can do a Dala. Obviously, he says that the Shulchan Aruch shouldn't use a candle. It's still Shabbat. It's still Shabbat. And he's not allowed to do any melacha until Tzete Kochavim. So, so you can see the idea we saw in the Rambam that um, Havdalah isn't necessarily at the end of Shabbat. It, it represents moving, transferring from a holy day to a regular day. And it, it can be said for the end of Shabbat if needed, preferably at, after Shabbat. But if needed, say the Shulchan Aruch, if he's, a, he's an anus, he has an obligation, he, he, can't, he can't say Havdalah. Afterwards, he can say Havdalah. <clears throat> and Reish Tzai talks about Havdalah, we say in, in Chonin Adat, Marif. So we say Havdalah in Chonin Adat. And if a person forgot, we, we, usually we are, some, sometimes we forget to say Havdalah in Chonin Adat, if a person forgot, no problem. He doesn't need to repeat uh, the daf. He doesn't need to repeat the daf. Really. I think we mentioned last week we have an obligation specifically on that prayer. Okay? So if we forgot to say it, we have to repeat it. But havdala can be said also on a cup of wine. So it's true. There was we didn't go into it now, and we don't have time. But there was a um, changes in history. But the uh, Chazal said it said on a cup of wine, and then on davening, and the, the bad wine, and they were poor, they became rich, so they changed and moved it from, from, prayer, from davening to prayer. Um, but Havdalah can also be said on a cup of wine. That's why if someone forgot to say Havdalah in davening, so he can he would just say Havdalah on a cup of wine. And that's it, that's enough. He doesn't need to repeat. Now, but here comes maybe the, the small cash. Um, ask the question, can one, can one eat, please drink before Abdallah? Can one drink before Abdallah? So I'm skipping to that topic a second. It's connected to here now, and, and we'll, we'll see in a moment why, why I'm skipping. Um, in a few months, we'll get to it only in a few, few weeks. Uh, The Shulchan Aruch said that you can drink water 
before Abdullah. You can drink water before Abdullah. What happens if by mistake I drank, uh, I ate a cake before Abdullah? Can I do Abdullah now? Yeah. I ate cake before Abdullah. Okay. We shouldn't do it, but we didn't miss the mitzvah of Abdullah. What happens if, and now we're going back to now, someone forgot to say Abdullah in davening, which is just said, and he doesn't need to repeat davening. Why? He'll say Abdullah on a cup, cup of wine. That was all for sure after he forgot to say Abdullah. He sees his nice cookies that uh, left at home from the Shabbat meal, and he takes a bite. And then he says, oh no, I didn't do Havdalah still. So obviously he'll do Havdalah. Does that affect the davening? Does he need to repeat now and daven? So we think maybe no. Havdalah says, read it inside. Ve'im ta'am kodem she'ibdil alakos. A person, talking, talking about a person who forgot Havdalah in davening. And he had to eat, he ate something to he ate before he did Abdallah on the cup of wine. He needs to repeat the davening and say and daven again. What's the logic of it? The whole reason a person, if a person forgot a tachon and tanu, davening, the whole reason he doesn't need to repeat it is because right away he'll come home and he'll do Abdallah on a cup of wine. So his davening is like we can say it's in a hall. Okay, the davening is in a hall. He needs to say Abdallah as part of the davening. He forgot to. So it's on hold. Maybe he'll fix it up. How will he fix it up? He'll come home, say Abdallah on a, cup of, on a cup of wine. As soon as he comes home and drinks or eats, he breaks the link. There's no link anymore between the prayer and, and, uh, um, and Abdallah. So now the prayer, which was in the hold, waiting, maybe he will now fix the prayer and, and uh, everything will be fine. So now he needs to, to, to repeat things again. So that's the, the idea of eating before Abdallah. Um, a similar halacha, similar halacha, a person forgot to say Abdallah in, in Shul, in davening, And he knows that at home he doesn't have any, any wine, there's no wine at all. And he's planning to eat. And he knows he's planning to eat. Um, and he, he thinks even tomorrow, even tomorrow morning, he will not have any wine. He needs to repeat and daven. And the idea there is the same logic. When a person forgets to say Abdallah in davening, so, so something in the davening is missing. When he does Abdallah, he's fixing up the davening and he's, he is as if maybe transplanting a the Havdalah back inside the davening. But if he, he won't have Havdalah in the next few hours, and even tomorrow morning he won't have Havdalah, he won't have a cup of wine, so the, the davening itself has a problem, needs to repeat davening. Um, <clears throat> we'll learn here two alachot. When a, a person says, atahu Okay, what's the best thing to do? I got the tachon and tanu. I got the tachon and tanu. And he said, uh, he said the bracha, I finished the bracha of Konei Adat. Konei Adat, he remembers after a second, I forgot to say a tachon and tanu. Does he now repeat a bracha? So if, if, if just to give an example, if it was um, Yom, and he needs to say Alev Eavo, not Yom, it's Cholamon, he needs to say Alev Eavo. If I finish with say, and then they started Modim and he didn't say Yalei Bebo. He would just go back to Ritzia and repeat the bracha and, and continue. The Shulchan says a, a, a rule. Whenever a person doesn't need to repeat the davening, he shouldn't also repeat even one blessing. For example, a person forgot that Tachon Atanu, remembered after 10 seconds, but he knows at home he has a cup of wine and he'll fix the davening by doing a bal at home. So he doesn't need to repeat anything. He doesn't need to repeat anything. And one more halacha, if a person finished davening, finished davening, he remembered that he didn't say Abdallah. He repeat all the davening. Okay, so that is yes or no. The answer is, well, there is an option in halacha that a person can just bring a, another davening for himself as if of the present to Hashem. If I take a whole davening as a whole, from the beginning to end, and say to myself, to Hashem, 
This is it, Tfilat Netaba. <coughs> this is the prayer. I'm giving a lift to a present to Hashem. So a person can do it. A person can, like every day, a person can say, I want to come and chocolate twice. Once is an obligation, and once just to, to give more, to have more. But the Ramah says in the laws of Tfilah, as we shouldn't do it. And only a person who really knows, he will think about every word, then he can do it Tfilah and Dava. Otherwise, no. And most people don't really do it, so that's why we don't repeat that. We just want to summarize up just the halach of Atachon and Tanu. If a person forgets Atachon and Tanu, he doesn't, does not repeat Tfilah. Right? He doesn't repeat one bracha and not the whole tefillah. When does he need to repeat the tefillah? If he forgot and drank or ate before he did them. If a person forgets atachon and tanu and he does abdallah, fine. Wait, so it's fine. And one more halacha about that. If a person, and we'll mention it also later, if a person forgets atachon and tanu, he should say before he drives home, before he lights a candle, he should say the words of Baruch Hamavdil. And Kodesh Lechol, right, to enter the so he'll be able to light the candle or to drive home. Hashem, we'll continue next week. And that's just a snow. That's just a snow.